Hey guys, what's going on today? This is Dalsu back with some more Hearts of Iron 3. I know it's been a little while. This game is, um, the recording's been a little bit spacey, but I am going to finish. Uh, as I've said, I, I always finish things I start, even if it takes me a super long time. We did start this back on the 4th of July, so it has been a little while. Um, and, you know, we're actually really nearing the end uh, of things, because I, I am going to probably stop playing around the end of World War II. So, I think kind of right now, because it looks like the Soviet Union is getting ready to maybe collapse. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it just, it kind of feels like it's about their time. So one of the only, like, serious foes we have less, left to deal with is, is the United Kingdom, UK. Now, I would like to invade them, but the only problem is they have a very strong navy, and I'm pretty sure they have a strong air force, too. But we also have that, so we are going to sort of collect ourselves here at the beginning of this episode. And um, I know that we have here a bunch of subs, so let's first of all click on this, just to make this whole thing a little bit easier. We can see what we have exactly. All right, so we got 12 subs there. That's not enough to do a whole lot with. If you right click on them, it takes you where they are. Okay, so this is all over here. We're probably going to leave those alone. We got 37 of them here. Is that right? Yeah, okay. We got quite a large Asiatic fleet stationed around Hawaii. We'll probably leave that alone too. Cruiser division down there. Cruiser division down there. So we're not going to mess with those. Anything on this side, on the Atlantic, is fair game. So let's see. Stop what you're doing and go to port. I'm going to make everyone go to port. I don't know why it's not letting me do it, but... Go to port, please. I think what you have to do is... Tell it to cancel. Go to port, right? Okay. These guys are all on the East Coast. I suppose it's kind of easy to just do it this way, huh? He's on the West Coast, but we still want him to come, I think. I don't know where the Demerara... That sounds like they're in Kiwi territory. Sargasso Sea. We'll leave these guys alone. We're going to tell everybody else to come to Washington, D.C. Form up there. Cool. He's going to have to come through the Panama Canal. That's fine. Anyway, what we want is like a pretty sizable fleet that we're going to use to surround the UK. All right, so that's what we're getting started there. Uh, in the meantime, we have a bunch of troops down here in New Zealand that really could be better used elsewhere. So I think we should probably start the invasion of Australia. Although, we might need to use some navy for that. We'll see about that in a second. See how our troops here in uh, Russia are doing. I mean, we could pretty much cut off a whole section of Russia here. But if there's no troops there, why don't we, why don't we cut to the coast here? These are mountains. Hmm. We are already taking lots of attrition, right? Not that bad, though. It's only 1.3%. Hmm. Are there any goals over here? I don't think that there are really any goals, any war goals. We could just sort of cut towards the capital, but I feel like that's going to take forever. So instead... Why don't we cut across this plane here, go here, and then we will cut off these guys. Sort of help the uh, help the Japanese fight this fight. Seems like a good idea. So, what's happening over here? The Soviet Union, I don't know how my divisions got here in Turkey, but so they are. The Soviet Union is... Taking over a large section of Egypt. 
We also have the British Raj down here to contend with. There's still a lot left to be done, actually, now that I kind of look at things. We're still having serious issues with our resources. Get more from Turkey there. Aluminum, rubber, and steel. Can't get any more aluminum, really. Can't get much more rubber unless we take over their holdings. I wonder where they're getting them from, man. Getting so much. I think it's all from the Raj area, maybe. Take a look. They're probably getting a bunch from the Netherlands. We should take these islands. That's probably what we should use these troops down here for, I'm thinking. I don't know if we have the naval superiority to do that, though. Need to look. You guys are all going to the East Coast, right? We've got these. I wish it was easier to sort of tell where your navy was. It's a nice division here, so... We could definitely land on New Guinea. Got better destroyers. Let's go ahead and change that production line. Destroyer 4. You too. We're probably just building too much stuff. That's the reason why we don't have the resources we need. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so what did we decide? Let's pause the game here. Let's not let time run away on us. What we want is you guys. You're here, so we'll click on you. You are currently con convoy escorting. We don't want you to do that. We want you, and I still can't figure out why I can't go certain places. Why can't I go here? It says out of naval range. Hmm. Anyway, what we'll do is we will convoy escort a path from New Zealand. <laughs> Did it again. Got to right click. Right click convoy escort. Here. Yeah, we have to cancel the other ones. And tell him to do these. Oh, now he's not doing it. Okay, here we go. Alright, so once we do those, I think we'll be able to plan a naval invasion of New Guinea. Great. Alright, so why don't all my troops that are here... Back to military. All my troops go to Auckland. That's a nice sized port, I believe. And then we can ship out from there. We have another navy down here. I'm, I think we do. But a sm much smaller one, right? Yeah, this cruiser division. Cool, we got concentrated industry, which is a major tech. I think we're kind of done with all of this, really. Um, so what are we going to research? We start working on our nuclear bomb if we wanted to. Otherwise, well, let's get better marines. How about that? Good plan. And... Do better engineers. Cool. So once they're formed up, we will start planning a naval invasion there. Might need more mil uh, more navy coverage. These guys seem to be doing a great job, um, but they are being attritioned, of course. The attrition's totally growing. Hopefully, Japan will sort of fill in the gaps and use what I'm doing to our advantage. But yeah, 
Okay. How are we doing navally over here? Do we get do we get most of our navies together? Okay. Let's put everybody together. Except for, of course, maybe the subs. We'll separate those out at the end here once we get once we're all sorted. It's like one massive fleet. Quite a lot of subs there. Um, did I put I put uh, a lot of naval bombers there on my on my carriers, but it's not totally the job's not totally done. Right. Okay. I need more naval bombers. Yeah, I've got a lot now. So I need. No. I need like twenty. Control A. Control OK. This is why I lost last time I tried to go over to England. I don't have enough car uh, carrier bombers, right? You guys got a few too many. I guess that's okay. They will have like less efficiency. This is going to be good. England's not going to stand a chance. We're going to end this war. That's not what I meant to do at all. Try that again. Okay, we've got some pretty well outfitted carriers now. And I think we're about ready to go. We'll, sp we'll split off the uh, subs a little bit later. Is that enough destroyers? Hope so. Four subs just sitting here. Might as well go join. What else? Where's my Asiatic fleet? It's, it's still in Hawaii, huh? Yeah. Alright, I tell you what. Damn it. Let you cancel that. I'm gonna tell you to do the same thing, but only down here. Convoy escort here and here. So you might actually get some battles out of that, because I know that New Zealand has a couple rogue ships down there. Anyway, Oof, this is a complicated game, guys. <laughs> I love it. It's super complicated, though. It's hard to let's play. I feel like I haven't done it justice in this playthrough, but I mean, we've, we're doing fine. We couldn't really do too badly as an America, honestly. Especially as a fascist America. We have a bunch of troops over here not doing anything. Could invade some other countries. I could invade Chile. Chile. And I don't understand how Brazil still has chunks. If they capitulate, they're supposed to... You know... Am I still at war with them, or what? I guess I could just fill in this... Yeah. And there's Argentina, too. Like, why? I don't get that. Do all that. Oh, that's a bad plan. Come on. Do a little better than that. Why don't you go up here, and go over here. And go there, then go there. Good. We never took the Falkland Islands from England. <laughs> That's a whole nother thing. What is this? Hit Cairn Island, okay. For all the sailors mutinied, right? Man, I didn't realize it's so far to the south. Okay. So Japan is Kind of not even really fighting, they're just all standing on the border. Weird. It's like the Soviet Union is winning in Turkey. I don't know how I got troops over there once again, but I'll go ahead and send them in if they can be of any help. Yeah, mainly we just need to eliminate the UK. We're at 69% at this war, and this war is almost done at 94. Okay. We're going to win. We've just got to get the UK. Only 5%. Everybody else has capitulated. Yeah, it's the UK that needs to go down. And he's actually making gains in Spain over here. 
It's a little scary, but once I take his home islands, he won't be able to do shit. Speaking of, let's go ahead and do that. Let's give this guy a really good commander, our best commander, uh, Admiral. Job. All right, off he goes. See how that works out. Maybe we can get some troops from here to navally invade. Didn't we send some troops to Africa? I think we did. Where did they end up? I don't know. Hard to keep track of your troops in this game. Let's see, we've got you over there in... I guess he's the, yeah, he's the, um, garrison commander. Okay. 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 Are you super attritioned? Not really. All right, let's unpause the game here. One of our plans need to go into effect now. Speaking of, let's go ahead and plan this naval invasion. I go from here to yeah. Good. 112 days. So we got that in the works. We're gonna get some rubber, hopefully from that. And uh, yeah. Feel pretty good about things. I feel like we're gonna win. I'm anxious to see how my navy does against the UK because the UK brings the heat with the navy. You know, we could send these troops to like land in Scotland or something. See how that works out. Probably not well, but at least we'd be sort of distracting them from whatever the hell they're doing in Spain. Man, we're looking pretty sexy over here why these little chunks of Brazil are allowed to still exist, but they are, for some reason. And Canada, too. There's, like, little chunks of Canada here and there. I thought when you capitulate, you get, you know, everything, but I don't know if that's the case or not. Doesn't seem to be. It's taken me forever to move through this country. But anyway, the Soviets are about to give up. Sorry, this one. We're about to win this war. 95%. These others are going to be really easy. There's... Yeah, Paraguay already did. I didn't know that he was involved in that war. I thought he was part of the main war. Alright, where are my ships? And my airplanes and everything. Good. We have one division of Germans. Anti-tank two. Radio detection. Let's get some new Mountaineers. Let's also get Mechanized two. Why not? All right, we're getting some naval engagements now. What happened here? Oh, we sank us. We sank a light cruiser. Okay, but they had five carriers there. Jesus. Those naval bombers will really help out. Yep. Stand a chance, dude. Here we go. Yeah, I have a better general. I have everything. Thank a carrier. Nice. Yeah, I don't think he really stands much of a chance. Yeah, he's going to get tore up. Excavation. Yeah, that gets us more minerals, right? We can also grab this. Sounds good. Yeah, man, they don't they don't stand a fucking chance with what they've got. So far, they may be bringing some heat from elsewhere, but... We should be able to do a naval landing on Britain before too long. It would be really nice. What do we got here? Oh, only 14 days. Wow. Alright. How about this? We've we've encircled them, have we? Is this worth any points? They have airplanes. Wow. I don't see any victory points anywhere around here. 
They're all going to be over here, right? All we got to do is take that and we win. Well, I'm just trying to give them a hard time from this angle. We'll, we'll see. We're going to end the episode there. I'm going to go ahead and record some more um, because I'm, trying, I'm really trying to sort of wrap this up for some new series, but... It is an engaging game, I have to say. It's hard. It's a hard as hell game to let's play because it's just so complicated. But I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it my all, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers. Bye.